What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin and today we're going to run some Nashville Nights. This is part three of a two part, well, of a multi-part series, I guess. Um, but if you haven't checked them out, go check out the pin wherever it is for the last two videos. They were pretty good. Um, and hopefully in this one it'll hold true to that. Uh, let's see if we can win a championship. Let's get into it right now. Here we go. So I ended the video last time saying something along the lines of we're getting there, which we are. We are very close and doing really well. Um, but the big thing is, how are we going to continuously get there? And we were close last year, but the Celtics just destroyed us. So I don't know if we're really getting there. I know I was saying that we were, and I feel like we are. Um, but I think we've got some tough decisions to make. And, and uh, So I, my first thought is, I want to see... Um, what free agents we could potentially get. Maybe somebody who is a little more um, established. And uh, to do that, I have to sell some, or have to sell, I have to trade somebody. Uh, so we're gonna try and see what kind of trade I can get um, and open up a spot and then hopefully be able to sign a semi good, somebody who's you know gonna help us out in the long run uh, free agent. So let's check out some free, aid, or some, uh, some trade offers options. All right, so off the bat, I made two pretty risky moves. I'm hoping they pay out, um, but the first one was Kevin Horder. Uh, or Howder, however you say his name. He was doing all right, but he wasn't really producing, so I traded him and Mike Muscala to Marcus or to the Celtics for Marcus Smart. Um, I think Marcus will be a good defender on those solid point guards, um, and uh, I think that him, along with the other person that we traded for, is gonna be a pretty big deal. Uh, so Marcus Smart and the second rounder came our way for this year, and then we also traded Cam Johnson and Anthony Simmons both of them just had really big contracts and I just, they were not gonna be something I wanted to fulfill in the future. So we picked up Bradley Beal who has a player option for next year. I'm assuming he'll probably take that player option um, and a first rounder for this year to give us a little bit of extra cushion for the draft um, and potentially a trade asset in uh, the near future. Um, I will say that I am looking definitely at getting uh, Nurkic out of here. He is on the downhill, and he is um, getting $19 million. Uh, so, as much as I love the guy, I am looking to drop him. Him and Okogi, honestly, is another one that I'm a little interested in moving. Uh, but I gotta wait until um, until December uh, or January 15th or something like that. So. So we're gonna go to December 15th, probably a little farther past that, um, and see how we're doing. And hopefully we're doing well, hopefully we're in the playoff contention. Um, I think my goal for this year is to make it past this, make it past the first round of playoffs. I think uh, with injuries and all that, it's gonna be difficult, but I think we can do it. Um, but we'll see, so January, sorry, December 15th, we'll go to past the 17th. All right, so we are 20 and 10. Um, our team chemistry, I know you can't see it, is at 51. I think that's what I needed to wait for was to get our team chemistry up because uh, we were pretty mediocre to start. A lot of back and forth, not great games. Um, I think we're gonna run it until January 15th because I don't think that we really do need to mess anything up. We're gonna play it out uh, till the 18th of Ju January. To be honest, I, I'm turning down some pretty good offers. Um, I could have gotten Bam twice in there. Um, I'm really, I'm just trying to stay as loyal to these guys as I can without blowing it up. But I really like, I am tempted with some of these uh, offers that I keep getting. But it is time. I'm gonna take a look and see what kind of trades we can get for poor, or not poor, well maybe Porter, who knows? But for Nurkic and Cam Thomas and Okogi, uh, some of those lower tier guys who might not be scoring or doing as much as we want, uh, trying to 
trying to better our team. That's what we're trying to do. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So here we go. Let's check it out. So we did some some things. We did some stuff. Um, I took some time and looked through some stats and saw that Marcus Smart really wasn't like he was producing, but he was producing mediocre stats. Um, so I figured that us picking up somebody who is gonna basically do the same thing but be here for a little while longer would be better. So he had seven and a half game, points a game two rebounds, five assists. He was playmaking and he was playing defense, getting some steals. My thought was, if I pick up Markel Fultz, he gets some, we get some more points out of him, more assists out of him. He's doing basically the same thing steals-wise. I think it's a good trade in that sense. We did have to give up a second rounder, but yeah, Salaby. Um, and then I was like, okay, again, I still wanted to get rid of Yusuf Nurkic, so Nurkic is now off the books. I sent Yurt Nurkic, Horford and Gallinari and a second rounder again, say uh, to the Cavs for Jared Allen, who is going to give us more playing or more uh, rebounding than Nurkic is and hopefully more points. Uh, Ronnie Mills came along. He's a 40 something overall and he's down in the G League right now. He'll be traded as soon as I can. Um, so that's what we got so far. I, I, I feel like we should still be doing moves, but I'm going to keep going. We're going to go until uh, February 10th. Not bad at all. I think that went well. Um, we're back to 51 overall team chemistry and we're 39 and 19. Uh, that puts us in second in the East. I'll take that. Uh, so uh, let's check out the all-star teams. Did we have anybody, let me go this way. Did we have anybody who made it this year? And if we didn't, probably rigged. So looks like we didn't. All right, cool. So no all-stars on our team, unfortunately, um, but we're getting there. Again, we're, we're a solid team. We're going to keep doing our thing, um, and I think that's what, it, what it's going to take is just us keep doing our thing. Um, no big trades to discuss. I mean, Kawhi to the Grizzlies, that's an all right one. He's not great anymore. So uh, Mitchell Robinson to the Kings for Kevin Looney. Nothing too crazy from what I'm seeing. Um... So we are going to go ahead and sim uh, till the uh, through the all-star break, come back, talk a little bit, and then we're going to sim to the rest of the year. So unfortunately had three out of the five games that we had, we lost. So that kind of stinks. But again, I'm, I'm comfortable where we are. I think that we're going to do solid. Um, and we're in a battle. We're in a heated battle for the East. We're not too far behind. 5.5 can turn very quickly. So we're going to go ahead, sim out the rest of the regular season. Joker gets the MVP this year. Uh, Trey Johnson with the Rookie of the Year. All right, whatever. Uh, DJ Wagner uh, with six man. Giannis gets another Depot. Uh, Depoy, sorry, Depoy. Uh, James Wiseman most improved on the Wizards, interesting look. And David Johnson with the record of 62 and 20 gets Coach of the Year. Not sure where he is. Uh, he's first in the division for uh, first in the conference. So whoever it is, uh, he's doing all right. Do we have any uh, All NBA team players? Does not look like it. No All NBA. Uh, no All Defense. And no rookie. Wow. Okay. So we really got snubbed there, even though we were the second best team in the league. So I don't know about you, but I feel like that's a little, little tough to take in. So let's send the play in and then let's get this show on the road here real fast. We ended up getting Detroit. Uh, Detroit was the seventh seed in the uh, regular season. So it makes sense. Um, so here we go. Let's go ahead and simcast our way through this. Right, Knights take game one. We get a 10 point loss in game two. Let's see if we can fight back. Game three is ours. Let's see game four. All right, we're up 3-1. Let's see if we can close her out. 
And that's it, folks. Back to calendar. We're moving on. Who do we got? The New York Knicks. They are on to face us. So let's go ahead, simcast it. Game one's ours. Take game two. All right, that went a lot closer than I thought it was going, but now we're in New York. Can we pull it out? No luck on the first one. Here we go. Dang. All right, series is tied two to two. It's now a best of three. We take game one of that best of three. They take game two of the best of three. Here we go. Game seven. And it looks like we are out of here. Dang, okay, well, took game seven, took him an eight point victory. Still not the best way for us to close it out, but it is what it is. So, there was everybody but Memphis, or sorry, uh, Minnesota went to game seven. So let's send the playoffs and see who gets the finals here. Oh, just like this year, the Denver Nuggets win the NBA championship with Nikola Jokic getting the MVP, of course. Uh, so let's get into the offseason. I think we did really well. There's not a whole lot to complain about. I think that we're going to be solid. Um, I think I'm really going to focus on getting uh, those guys back. I want to pull them all back in as much as I can. Um, and I think we can because we have the bird ears. That's my assumption, my belief. So let's go ahead and focus on that. So this is a big this is a big moment in our uh, off season is because we have a chance to get top five pick with our Wizards pick. So fingers crossed that we get a good one here. Yes, we moved up. We moved up into the third pick. That means Cooper Flag is potentially an option, um, which would be a huge pickup because one. He's a really good basketball player and would be awesome on our team because he's a big dude. He'd be a like, small forward fit. But two, he's a main guy, which is awesome. I'd love to pick him up. All right, that makes me excited. That's an exciting thing. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and sim to the uh, NBA draft, and we'll see what we do. Today's the day, so... How is this gonna go? The Jazz are on the clock and they pick Cameron Boozer. So, so far, so so good. I would love to see uh, OKC not take my man's Cooper Flag because Cooper Flag and Grady Dick together just sounds perfect. OKC on the clock and they take Cooper Flag. Okay, so I guess our options are pretty simple. Either we go ahead and draft somebody, the third best guy, or potentially the best guy, depending on who's left. Um, or we are going to look at trade offers and see what we can potentially get out of that. Or we could potentially try to tr try to get them to trade me Cooper Flag because I'm pretty set on him. But we're gonna look at these trade offers and see if any of them look any good. So there is an offer for uh, Cooper Flag for this third pick. All right, so now we have the like 30th pick or something like that, so we're gonna go ahead and send to that. I'm oh, sorry, the 29th pick. Go with him. He's not gonna be anything special, I know that for a fact, but I'm gonna go with him. We got Fultz Porter, Grady Dick, Bradley Beal, uh, and Cam Thomas. We got Flag. We've got Okogi, we've got Hauser, um, and then we picked up, or we still have Keegan Murray and Woods, but we picked up Aaron Gordon um, because I'm not sure who I'm going to keep, but one of them is probably going to get traded, and they're both good trade assets out of Woods and Gordon. And then Watanabe, I think is how you say his name, because uh, he's a three point shooter, so hopefully he does something for us. Still got Duran, we've got Allen, and we picked up Landell. Uh, so. I'll, I'll be interested to see how this goes. So player progression, we'll finish out the, the off season and get into the year two. All right, year two starting with Mark Hill starting at point, Grady Dick at shooting, Cooper Flag at uh, small forward, Keegan Murray with power forward, and Duran at center. Um, 
not a bad look. We're all in the 80s, so not like, not we don't have a superstar, which might be what we're missing. But we're all young, we're all talented, we're gonna do something. Then we got Allen as our six man, Porter, Woods, and Beal, and Okogi getting minutes with Cam Thomas, Gordon, and Watanabe on the bench, and our reserves are Sam Hauser and Jay Lydell. Um, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna full send her, Bob. We'll sim right to uh, January 15th. All right, so not bad. We're 29 and 13, uh, but I think I think it's time that we move on from uh, from Okogi and from uh, Gordon. So we're gonna see what we can get out of them. All right, so I made a couple of moves. I, like I said, I got rid of my people. So I got Aaron Gordon for Ivaka, uh, Ivaka Zubak um, and a second rounder. I Mainly I like Zubak and he's less money is kind of what I was going with and we get a second rounder out of it. Uh, I, I hate to just trade him away, but you know, that's, that's the name of the game. Uh, then I went and I was like, you know, what else could I get? So I put Okogi and Christian Wood together um, and let me tell you, there were a couple of good ones that I really considered, but I ended up going with uh, Sangoon, uh, who's another center, which could get interesting, and Paul George, who's on a one-year contract, uh, who's not that good. Uh, so I'm hoping that Sangoon, Duran, and um, Keegan Murray can all play nice, and maybe we can get something good out of it. Uh, so let's go back and we're going to sim to uh, February 4th and see how things are going. We went on a little losing streak there for a second. I'm a little nervous to see what I'm about to see. Duran, I'm, I'm pretty sure, is not happy, um, which sucks because he was one of our guys that was really carrying. Um, and then Markel, that's another big hit. Markel is out for a couple of weeks. I, I don't think I see myself making trades right now. Um, I'll look and see what I can get, but I don't I don't think there's gonna be much that I really really want. Uh, no trades were made. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and sim it out. I think that we're a good team. We're right now looking at fourth in the east and we're fighting for at least top three uh, for the season. So on the all-star team doesn't look like we're gonna get anybody else here either. I really thought that this year we'd get somebody. Hey, we do have someone. Our first all-star, our new recruit. Well, recruit. Our new guy, uh, Sungoon, doing work. He got the nod. We'd love to see it. Um, and yeah, so we'll take that. We got our first all-star. Congratulations, Sungoon. Uh, now we are going to sim through the rest of the city, the rest of the regular season. We got a loaded last half. Uh, we're going 35 and 21 right now, so here we go. Luca gets the MVP. Uh, Cameron Boozer, I disagree. I think Cooper probably deserved it, but it is what it is. Uh, Blitzy, Blitzes got the uh, sixth man of the year. Chet Holgram with the defensive player of the year. And Shakir O'Neal gets most improved. Quinn Snyder gets coach of the year, who is the Hawks coach. Um, so that could be interesting. He, and, uh, let's see if we got anybody on the All NBA teams. No such luck on the uh, regular All NBA team All Defense. No sir. But we do have our man's Cooper Flag out here at the first All Rookie team. We'd love to see it. All right, so we are going in with the number two seed again. Again, mind you, we're consistent. Um, but we're gonna see who we get. If the plan just stays normal, it'll be we get Detroit and Charlotte goes to Atlanta, but we'll see what we get. Charlotte goes to us and Philly goes to Atlanta. Interesting. So Detroit gets knocked out. That's too bad, huh? So, Charlotte, let's see if you can just uh, step out of our way while we go ahead and take this round. All right, I guess I will not talk crap. Let's try it again. All right, we take game two, we're tied up. Wow, that was close. I should have jumped into that one, my bad. But wow, we pulled that one out, so we're up two to one. Went into overtime, two to two, Charlotte coming out. Here we go to <clears throat> best of three series. 
We take it. There's the first of the three that we need. Whoa! I slowed it down for a second. I thought we had it. And then, boom, they came back. So we're going to game seven. Let's see if we can pull this one out at home. Dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it. Well... Down goes the Knights. We lost in the first round of the seventh seed. That's too bad. All right, send the playoffs. Yeah, I kind of figured Atlanta was going to pull this one out. I don't know who they had. Trey Young went crazy. Um, I want to see who else they had on their team because that, that was a pretty good. The Warriors made it. Congrats, Warriors. They had Trey Young, Sadiq Bey, Johnson. So nobody special. Just like everybody played well and Trey went crazy. All right, well, off to the uh, off to the um, off season. So we have no uh, no trade or no draft picks this year, but we do have a solid core that's going to come back, I believe. So uh, I do want to just see what I could get for uh, Cam Thomas. I'm not saying he's the problem, but he has not done well for us, so uh, maybe we can pull somebody in that might help us a little bit. Still, we have not got our championship, but we're not a bad looking team. We got Folds, Porter, Dinwiddie, uh, we've got Grady Dick, Bradley Beal, Cooper Flagg, Baldwin, and uh, TJ Warren, Allen, Murray, um, Wood, which I might, honestly, I'm thinking I might move Wood. Yeah, I'm going to move Wood to the center here in a second. Um, and then Sungoon, Zubak, and Oliver. Uh, Christian Wood, you hopefully will do better at center you're worse at center okay so you're staying at power forward who else do we have a power forward that i can move to a center for backup you are not moving nope um nope so we really don't have much options here okay well, it looks like we're gonna stay how we are and see things through we could go that way i don't know i like having these two battle it out but if Wood's going to be there, then we might want to just kind of hold true. I mean, Allen's not dropping, so we're going to go Allen moves. Confirm it. Murray's going to be there. Well, what, This could be interesting. This could be an interesting year, so that's what we're going to go with. Um, still no luck here, but hey, it is what it is. That GM, you can't win every year, um, so uh, we're going to go out and we're going to win what we can. Thank you guys for watching. Unfortunately, we couldn't get out of the second round this time, but we made progress. We did. Um, if you like what you see, definitely let me know down below uh, in the comments. I will definitely be responding. I like a lot of your comments, and I love seeing what you guys want me to play. Uh, definitely like, definitely subscribe. Make sure you hit the red icon and the bell to make sure that you know every time I uh, upload a video, and make sure the, the YouTube algorithm knows. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Everybody have a great rest of your day. Peace.